what's cooking in Cindy's kitchen today? So today we're making Italian stuffed peppers. And then at the end, just because my oldest daughter has asked for it, uh, for lunch, we're gonna do a margarita tortilla pizza for one. Oh, okay. I went ahead and got a pot of water boiling and it's a bigger pot than I normally would use. I'm using one cup of orzo. Now, those of you, hey Heather, good to see you. Those of you who have never used orzo, it looks very much like rice, right? But it's a pasta and it's very thin. See, it looks, it looks kind of like a grain of rice, um, but it's actually pasta, it's not a rice. I love it for pasta salads or for casseroles um, because it cooks up very quick. Um, and so I reached for the purple one that my friend Vicki sent me. Okay, so uh, the water, I've got salted boiling water and I'm gonna dump my one cup of orzo in there and bring that to a boil. Um, just cook it according to the package instructions. So that's all we wanna do. Now, while that's cooking, I have preheated my oven to 350 degrees. I'm gonna turn this burner on. There we go. You never know with these burners. Turn this burner on and I'm gonna put in a little oil. Now you can do olive oil or vegetable oil or butter. Your choice. What should I use? I think I'm going with the butter. I think I'm in a butter mood. This is on medium high and we're gonna melt our butter. Okay? Ooh, look. La la la. So melty. So, um, then I have already cut up a small, is that, is that light so bright that you can't tell what's in the bowl? I never know, I'm gonna pull back. This is just one onion that I've diced up, okay? It was a pretty small onion because that's what I had. All right, so in we go into our butter or you can put the oil, right? Okay, so that's gonna go away. We'll toss it, you can look. Pretend like you're a chef, la la la, or you might get onions everywhere. So maybe you wanna use your spatula. Spatula. All right, we're gonna let this cook just for a second, and then I'm gonna add, so this is my roasted garlic, and I just took um, three or four cloves and smashed it up, see, minced it up. Um, if you don't have roasted garlic, you can use fresh garlic and just mince it up, smash it up. You don't want a big old bite of raw garlic when you're eating this. No, no, no. All right, I'm gonna turn this down just a wee tad because I don't want my onions to burn. I'm gonna let those cook a bit before I put those in. And now I'm cheating today. I'm cheating, but um, there's only three of us. So I'm using, I used three peppers. Looks all white, too bright to see the food. You would get onions everywhere, Barbara. Okay, so I got an orange one a yellow one and a red one. And I just cut them in half. See, I cut them in half. And then I cut off the stem and took out the pith. There we go. Good morning, Vicki from OKC. So see how I did that? So that we make little boats. See, the little boats. Now, so what's the cheaty part? The cheat is we're gonna use meatballs. And instead of making homemade meatballs, I just have a bag of frozen meatballs and I have, um, I got these out. So they're about room temperature right now. <clears throat> Just so everything will cook faster. Okay, I'm gonna put the garlic in now. A pinch of salt, la la la. And a pinch of pepper, la la la. There we go. And then we're just gonna stir that up. I'm just gonna give this a little, my orzo just a little toss because I don't want it to stick to the bottom. Um, so I'm cheating with the frozen meatballs. I'm also cheating with the sauce. And I know that some of you will be very appalled, but you know, it's 99, this is just a can of spaghetti sauce. It's 99 cents, okay? And so these were on sale for four for $5. So I actually have four, but I only needed three. I'll use the other one. So these were on sale four for $5. Uh, the meatballs were on sale for $1.99. And this was 99 cents. Um, you know, I had the onion and the garlic. So I, again, I'm trying to keep cost down for you as well. All right, I'm gonna take this off the stove just for, or turn this way, way down. Let me see where we are on my orzo. Okay, 
My orzo is going to cook just a little bit more in the oven, so we're ready to go. Now, this is what my onions look like. See my onions and my garlic? There's a little color on there. All right. Spider. Remember? This is the spider. You can use a slotted spoon, but remember that orzo is this, even though it puffs up a bit, um, it still looks like rice. And so if you use a slotted spoon, then eh, you're gonna lose a lot of your orzo. I only cut, uh, I cooked a cup. So um, you're gonna say that doesn't look like a lot, but for three peppers, it's fine. Um, the other thing, let me think. You can do this for one. Okay, so you know the last two days, we have done everything for one person. But of course, any of those recipes that we did, you can make for two, you can double up, right? So this is the same way. You can use a very small pot and cook maybe a tablespoon of orzo. Okay, so that doesn't take very long, right? A tablespoon of orzo. And um, now my water is hot and still boily water over here. I'm gonna go ahead and take my three peppers that again, I've cut taken this, the top out and the seeds and that white pith, okay? And I'm just gonna drop these in the boiling water. Now, why am I doing this? Everything I'm putting in these peppers is gonna be cooked, right? Because my meatballs have defrosted. My meatballs have defrosted and, let's see, the sauce is out of a can and I've already cooked my orzo and added onions and garlic so I don't want, do you have RA? Uh, uh, it's a form of, it's like R, it's like rheumatoid arthritis, but it's psoriatic arthritis. And so the infusion I take is a medicine called Remicade. I've already done the Humira and the Otesla and uh, all the other ones. They, didn't, they just didn't work for me. So, okay. Now, to my onion, garlic, and pretty much cooked orzo, I'm gonna add, which one is this? Let me smell, hold on. Oh, there we go. This is some fresh basil, okay? So I'm gonna take, uh, let's say two tablespoons of fresh basil and two tablespoons of fresh Italian flat leaf parsley. You can use the curly parsley, but I don't know. I don't think it really has a taste for me and it's hard to cut. So, that being said. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more salt to this and a little bit more pepper, okay? Because really, those are our seasonings. Onion, garlic, fresh basil, fresh parsley, and some salt and pepper. So, not a whole lot. All right, and I'm gonna give this just a spray because I don't want anything to stick. It usually doesn't in my Polish pottery, but in case. Just in case. Now I'm gonna use my spider again. Look at this. All right, I'm gonna use my spider again, except I'm gonna flip them so there's no water in there, okay? And then I'm gonna flip into there, into our dish. Now, again, the reason I threw these in the water is because everything else is cooked. Normally, if things weren't cooked, if you were putting raw hamburger meat in here, you would cook them much longer because you need the hamburger meat to cook, right? But we don't need these to cook that long. Whoops, that still has water in it, hold on. Oof! We don't need these to cook that long. And so, um, well, goodness, watch this. I just don't wanna, my fingers were getting all burny. Um, there you go. Uh, so we want these to little, I mean, you know, we're parboiling basically because we certainly want a, a snap. We certainly want a taste of the pepper. We don't want it mushy by any stretch of the imagination, but we don't want raw pepper taste, right? Raw pepper taste is not a great thing. So here's my orzo. Now, normally when you make stuffed peppers, yes, there are lurkers. Tell us where you're from. If you're new, tell us that. Or if you're not new, just tell us where you're, where you're from. Okay, so now we're gonna, normally when you make stuffed peppers, you put rice in them, right? There's rice and a hamburger mixture. But again, in my family, that hamburger is a no-go. They're just not, 
Hamburger is not a, they'll eat meatloaf. It's really weird, you know? They'll eat meatloaf, but not so much. And when I say they, my husband would eat anything I put in front of him. Or do you have, do you have picky husbands or do, will your husband eat anything? Good, Anita, you blanch your peppers too. Good, good. Um, but you know, some people who cook it with the uh, rice and the hamburger, if it's cooking that long, you don't necessarily have to blanch them because they'll cook, they'll cook so long in there. And you get some steam going, especially if you cover it, right? You've never been able to talk and cook at the same time? <laughs> Tempe, Arizona. Kathy, good to see you. Michigan. Yes, I know Joanne. I, I'm thinking about how could I ever get to Michigan? That's what I want to know. How can I ever get to Michigan or Illinois? You know I want to go to Illinois so that I can go visit the store and warehouse at More Polish Pottery. Because you know me, I'm a Polish pottery nut. Okay, so look at that. I had plenty of orzo, one cup, uh, for my three peppers, okay? We'll just do this. Set that there. All right, so you can see them, right? Yours will eat everything, burnt or not. Judy, you are so lucky. That's awesome. My husband's the exact same way. Linda from Galt, Illinois. Now, I'm gonna take my can. I know, my laziness, right? Uh, should I use the spoon? Maybe I should use the spoon. Because you know, otherwise I might make a big old mess. Picky husband and daughter. Oh, yeah. So, I used to make two or three things. So, I'm gonna put this on the top. I used to make two or three things so everybody would eat. Then I got to the point of, you know, when the girls got older, fly and I'll drive to Ohio for a meet and greet. That would be great. Um, that would be fun. That would be fun. Um, when they got older, like older junior high, I was like, enough of this. I am done, done, daddy, done with making meals for everybody. And quite frankly, Everybody can cook your own stuff. And so, um, yeah, my girls learned you either eat it or it's a ramen noodle or mac and cheese or something like that night for you. Okay, now if you want to just go ahead and pour the whole sauce thing over, you can. Uh, you could have always put a layer of this down on the bottom. I, I didn't, but there you go. Okay, now we're gonna top with Again, I'm cheating. I'm not shredding it myself. I know, it's so cool to see new people. All right, so we put the orzo with the onion and garlic, parsley, flat leaf parsley, and fresh basil. Inside our blanched peppers, we're gonna top each one with a little shredded mozz, right? Um, and again, you know that it's so much cheaper to buy a block of cheese and shred it yourself. That being said, if you have arthritis, right, it's harder to do that. So a lot of times when you're buying stuff, you have to balance how much time you have and what you're able to do, how many people you're cooking for, you know, all those things go into it. Now, a little shredded parm, a little shredded parm on top, Oh, look at that. Oops, I didn't turn that off. <laughs> a little shredded parm on top. And then just for giggles and because I think it looks pretty, there we go. I've got a little bit of, uh, no, I'm gonna do the parsley. A little bit of parsley left over. So we'll just do a little sprinkle on top. Again, it's like why I picked three different colors of peppers because you do eat with your eyes. And so I just think that's pretty. Okay, now everything's cooked. Normally this might take an hour or so to cook, right? But not, not. This is like a 20 minute thing and I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in the oven, right? I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in the oven. I'm not covering it because I really don't need my bell peppers. I blanched them. All we're doing is melting the cheese. Everything's hot. Oh no, I forgot, doggone it. And I already put the cheese on top. This is how you know it is not a professional cooking show, right? Because Cindy screws up everything. There you go. Laurie, good morning. Take your meatballs. Take your meatballs and smoosh down in there. <laughs> However many you can get in there. 
I put two. Look, I'm going to put the cheese back over them. <laughs> All right. It's kind of like Monday when I put the blueberries in the microwave and I forgot to... Oh, look. Come on. Come back up over there. I put the blueberries in the microwave and I forgot to, to cut them. I'll put some, I've got extra cheese. Um, and so what happened is the blueberries exploded. And so the inside of my microwave was purple. Purple, I tell you. Okay, if you want to stuff, you know, if you can get, if your peppers are bigger or, um, you know, whatever, you can put between three or four meatballs in each pepper. Again, it depends on how big your peppers are and really how much you want. You can use turkey meatballs. Yes, Eileen, I messed up. I did, but you know, I'm okay with that. That's how everybody knows that it's a real kitchen, right? Okay, I shoved it in there. Now I'm gonna put just a little bit more parm on top. I mean, mozz. Just because I want cheese on, cheese on the meatballs, okay? There we go. And I think I moved everybody else around enough. All right, so again, about 20 minutes in the oven, 350 degrees, okay? What do you think? Thumbs up, hearts, tell me if it looks good. There you go, in the oven we go. Ooh. Now, you'd think that was all, wouldn't you? You'd say, well, okay, we're done, but no. Because, whoops, here we go. My daughter has made a request for today. And when my oldest daughter says something needs to happen, we do it. I was so calm and collected, yeah. Well, I certainly didn't feel calm and collected when the blueberries exploded. <laughs> I know, right? It was just like so weird. Okay, so my daughter wants for lunch, and she loves margarita pizza. So, you know, margarita pizza really has no meat. She's in the, the no meat thing. Well, you know what? Everybody makes mistakes. And I don't want to watch somebody perfect doing things because then I feel like I'll never make it right. So, you know, I screw stuff up. We still eat it, right? It's still good. All right. She loves margarita pizza. And that's really basic. It's mozzarella, tomato, and basil. Pretty much that's it. And that's what she wanted. But I have a great recipe that's for a lunch, right? In case you don't have pizza dough or you don't want to make a pizza. So, I've got a big skillet. Now this is probably a 10 incher, maybe, a 10 or 12 inch skillet, and I'm gonna give that just a spray. You could put oil in there, but I'm not. I'm using tortillas that are the, um, like the burrito size, the big ones, the big ones. Is your oldest home from school? She doesn't go to school, Heather. She's just here. Okay, in we go. Can you see? I'm gonna tilt down so you can see. Now, on half of it, we're gonna do, so I just, look at these tomatoes. I just sliced up a tomato like that. And so down, I'll turn them this way. So down halfway, I'm gonna turn that down about halfway. And then we're just gonna layer our tomatoes across here, okay? There's our tomatoes. We're gonna top that. Did I have cheese? Oh, I did. Now, remember, I had that fresh mozzarella, and she doesn't really like fresh, it's my favorite, but she's not a big fan of fresh mozzarella because she says it just gets, it's too thick and clumpy. So I'm just gonna use shredded mozzarella. You can use whichever. No, my youngest, Heather, my youngest is the one that went to college. All right, and then we're gonna do a drizzle, just a drizzle of olive oil just because I want my tomatoes yummy. And olive oil does add just a little hint of flavor. A pinch of salt, because tomatoes always need salt. I, I'm sorry, but tomatoes always need salt. A little pepper. La 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 la. And fresh basil. Now I've, I've chiffonaded my fresh basil, but it, especially if it's for you, you could just tear the leaves. You don't have to cut them, especially if your hands hurt and that's not a, a good thing for you. Okay, we need, we need a spatula, okay? We're gonna take this side of it and flip it over, okay? We're gonna take this side and flip it over. 
There we go. Give it a little press, okay? And we're gonna let it sit there just a second. You can tell you use the, I know. I almost did that, Cheryl, because I'm out. Here, I'll show, where is it? Oh, look. I have to make roasted garlic either today or tomorrow. Look, the roasted garlic container is empty. Empty, I tell you. And I should have used that oil, you're right. So as you can tell, there's a little bit of color on here from just setting it in there as we were loading our ingredients, okay? So we're gonna check the bottom. I'm just gonna let this, I turn the, the, the fire down to about medium. I have a bad habit. I think it's because I'm always like, let's go, 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 that I always put everything at medium high. So I have to be really careful and make sure that, you know, I don't mess stuff up. All right, now let's flip. I'm gonna flip, well, if I can get under there, this way, there we go. <gasps> Look how pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, we're about ready to move. Are you ready to move? It's almost time to move. Okay, we're letting this get a little brown on that side. Have a sip of coffee. Hello, we have a lot of people. Thank you, Linda. You know I love you guys. We have so much fun, although everybody's not chitty chatty today. Has anybody made one of these before? Mmm. All right, let's see. I think we're good. Now. I'm just gonna take my cutting board and we're gonna move it and then we're gonna go over. It is a great lunch. Hadley and I like truffle oil. Yum. I don't have any truffle oil and I've never used it. Okay, so here we go. Look at that. Okay, all right, let's move. Shall we go? We gotta go taste stuff. Let's go here. I'm gonna get you. There we go. It's on, come with me. Come with me and you'll see. I know, I can't sing worth a diddly, can I? The sad thing, I have to tell you guys, the sad thing, did you guys see that we had, I know, I love, love, love. Oh, we're using the same coffee cup. That's so cool, Kathleen. I know, case it, and you can put anything in there. You don't have to do it just like this. You could put whatever you have, right? Okay, now, again, you can use a knife. We always use a pizza cutter to cut quesadillas, all right? And so um, I'm gonna cut down the halfway mark. Look at there. Cut way down the halfway mark. And then we've got two. And look at that. And there we go, right? You could top it with something if you wanted to. I'm just gonna pick that. And you know I'm just gonna pick it up, don't you? You know I'm just gonna pick it up. Wait a second, I need a, I need a wet, the wetty thing, and the dry one. My hands are all icky, so I don't wanna. I retired in June, oh, Janet. Well, I am so glad you found us too. Oh, you're waiting for the garden puck mug, yes. That is so pretty. And he will say, did you watch Cindy today? Irene, you tell Daryl hello for us. All right, so here we go. Has been making these diff with, all different stuffings for weeks. Joe, that's fantastic. See, I love that. I love cooking with things you already have in your pantry. Because really, we shouldn't be spending 12 tons of money. We should use what we have or use less expensive ingredients. All right, so here we go. Look at that. And you tell the, the cheese is all melty. There's the tomato and the basil. This is so simple, right? I'm going to go from this end. Mm. Mm. Can you hear Abba in the background? This is so, so, so good. It is. It's just like a quesadilla, but we've taken the quesadilla and we've put a little Italian spin on it. And man, tomato, mozzarella cheese, and basil. Boom. Done. Now, if you don't have the big ones, the big tortilla size like I used, or burrito size, um, if you don't have those big ones, instead of doing the flip over, use two of the regular size uh, flour tortillas. So just put one down, load your ingredients, then put another one on top, and then just flip the whole thing. But I like this, because you know, turn over. Cheddar, onion, and salsa. Donna, that would be awesome too. 
There you go, Linda. So you got something for lunch. And you know what? Save a little bit of your pizza sauce if you want, your uh, spaghetti sauce, and dip it in there. Cooked chicken the other day for dinner. Lori, there you go. That's so awesome. All right, so that's what we've got uh, for lunch for my oldest daughter, okay? I know, I know. I'm going to have to make another one. That's just how this show goes. So, like, when I make the stuff in the mugs, I make it, right? And you get to see it. But, of course, I always take a bite so that you can see that it's, you know, I'm not, right? Or spitting it out somewhere like some people we know. I mean, I want you to know that it actually tastes good, you know, and all that stuff. So, that being said, I end up having to double up because she doesn't want to eat what I've already eaten. So there you go. And actually, sometimes I have to triple because you guys always want pictures of stuff. So I can't take a picture of the one I took a bite out of, right? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, are we ready? Okay, guess what? Melty is done. That didn't take us 10 or 15 minutes, did it? Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a big serving spoon. My metal one. Okay, here we go. First of all, I'm gonna pull this over here just so you can see it. Now, I probably would have left it in just a little bit longer, just so you could, just so the cheese was ooey gooey melty instead of just a little bit melty. But because my frozen meatballs were room temperature, we're probably okay, all right? So this is a family dinner, which I think is awesome, right? All right, I'm gonna take out the yellow bell pepper. I can't, I can never decide if the, the yellow or the orange is my favorite. What is your favorite bell pepper? Which one is it? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay, here we go. This is a work of art. Look at that. Look how pretty it is. Now, of course, like I said, I only put two meatballs in here because my oldest is going to pull the meatballs out. Just saying, right? So you could have put probably four meatballs in here, and that gives you a good ratio of meat to orzo to pepper, okay? So that, get, that would give you a really good ratio. But like I said, my oldest daughter is gonna pull those meatballs out anyway. All right, ready? Here we go. I like the meatballs. So I'm gonna dig in to where there is a meatball, right there. Okay. And then, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not getting, hold on, I got the edge. I need some more orzo. Watch. <laughs> when you're trying to get the perfect bite, you know that nobody on the Food Network show is doing this funky, trying to get it all in there. Ready? Okay, so there's the orzo. Can you see the orzo? We've got the sauce, there's onions, there's basil, there's parsley. We've got ch melty cheese. There's a little bit of meatball right there and our bell pepper. Ready? Here we go. Mm. Uh-oh. Mm. 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 So good. Mm. So the peppers are blanched. Mm. So they're not like raw crisp, which I like. I don't like the raw crisp. If this is, if I'm dipping it in ranch dressing, okay. But if I'm making something to eat for dinner, I don't want that raw crisp taste. But because we blanched it, it took enough of the bite off that now when we eat it, it's a good crunch. It's a good texture. We've got the softness of the orzo. We've got that yummy sauce and our fresh herbs and the melty, melty cheese. So what did you think? Did you have fun today? Look at that. I know, I would eat her, I'm gonna eat her meatballs too, right? She doesn't, what? Oh, allergic to green bell peppers and pears. Wow, wonder what's in them. I have no idea. All right, so for lunch, you can do your margarita pizza quesadilla. And for dinner, you can put together your uh, Italian stuffed peppers. Look at that, with orzo marinara, mm, orzo marinara and meatballs. I hope you guys had a good time today, and I hope you enjoy some of these recipes. Um, my, my greatest thing is when you send me a message and tell me that you 
had some fun watching the show, or you send me a picture and say, I made this and it was awesome. But you know what? If you made it and you didn't like it, tell me that too so that we can know. You guys have an awesome day. And from my kitchen to your kitchen, may it be filled, your kitchen be filled with the smells Mmm, a fresh, yummy, cheesy goodness today. Talk to you guys later, and I'll see you tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Bye-bye.